Hello everyone, this is Leo Farnsworth with the AIS Telecom team. Today we will be discussing how to get support and help for your RingCentral system. One of the key support methods is going to be found at support.ringcentral.com. As I navigate to support.ringcentral.com, I have many different options that I can select from this website. The starting one that I'd like to give you is the RingCentral University. As I click on RingCentral University, I have the option to view guides and videos and to sign up for webinars on RingCentral. The guides and videos can be exceptionally helpful because they have quick videos on how to do various things, both administratively and from the standard extension level on the RingCentral system. From RingCentral support, I can also come in here and I can click contact. As I type in contact, I'm going to select one of the options that are available for support. I can engage the community support forum. I can engage the live chat support with Ring Central. I can engage them on social media. I also have the option to open a support case online. If I like to just do it the old fashioned way, I can also come in here and I can click on phone support. As I click on phone support, I have the option to call Ring Central. Now, each Ring Central account comes with 24 by 7 support through Ring Central. Generally, when you call them, they're, they're going to ask you for your telephone number associated with your Ring Central account. That could be your personal DID number or the Ring Central main telephone number on the account. They'll also generally ask you to authorize or verify that it's you using your security question or some other method. Another really great resource is Google. As I open up a Google page here and I type in Ring Central and I put in a question, how to transfer to voicemail, for example. You'll notice that as I do that search, almost all of the first page of that Google result are going to be support.ringcentral.com and they have multiple articles on how to do all sorts of different things inside their support article. So from here, I have the ability to view this article and to follow the information on how to do what it is that I'm looking for. With that said, that's everything that I wanted to show you for this. Uh, the last portion of that is, is that AIS obviously continues to be an ally to you and your organization. If for some reason you have a problem engaging Ring Central through any of these support mechanisms, or you're having a problem getting uh, the information that you need, please feel free to reach out to us. You can do that by emailing phones at ais-now.com. Thank you for being with me today. I hope that this video has been helpful.